Here we are! Rocks! This is Daniel Cook, studying rocks. I'm here with Keith, and today Keith and I are going to study rocks! Hi, Hi Daniel, how are you? Good. Welcome to Hopewell Rocks, New Brunswick. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Are there different types of rocks? Yes, there are, Daniel. There's three types of rocks. Do you know what they are? Uh... There's metamorphic rock. Metamorphic. Sedimentary. Sedimentary. And igneous. And igneous. What types of rocks are on that cliff? Well, they're on the cliff. On the cliff over here, you can find all three types of rock. When Ooh. it comes together and cemented together naturally, it's called conglomerate formation. And we have cool. a lot of conglomerate formation here at Hopewell Rocks. Hey, Keith, can we go look at those, those conglomerate rocks and then and maybe we can study some rocks on the beach? We certainly can, Daniel. Let's go. Hey! Okay, here we are standing on some conglomerate rock. If you look at the conglomerate real close, you're going to find some igneous rock. There's a piece of igneous rock right here. Granite. Oh, I got some of, okay. I got some of that some in my granite. pocket. And up here we have some sandstone or sedimentary rock. Keith, what about that third one you said metamorphic? Well, metamorphic rock is made up when uh, there's intense pressure and heat deep below the earth, and sedimentary rock and igneous rock comes together. And it metamorphosizes into metamorphic rock. And there's cool. an example. Right here's an example of metamorphic rock where the two come together under intense heat. Wow. Conglomerate rock really is all three of it them. It sure isn't is, it? Daniel. And this conglomerate was put here over 200 million years ago. Whoa. Keith, are you good at skipping rocks? Well, I used to skip rocks pretty good when I was your age. Maybe you can give me some hints on how to skip rocks. I sure can, Daniel. I'll show you some nice flat rocks here in the beach that we can skip. And we can look for some fossils as well. And I have some more rocks back over on the other side that you can see. There's a good skipping rocks here, Daniel. Ooh, this would be a good rock to study. Oh, it sure would. Skipping rock and a fossil. Ooh, my pocket's full. Oh, wow. Look at the crystal in, in this yeah. rock. You want to skip okay. the first one? Hold it flat like this, OK? All right. Like this? That's right, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook, skipping rocks. Good grip. Oh, oh, I skipped a little. Watch this one. Whoa. Oh. Belly flopper. Here we go. You got two skips. Want to try your skipping fossil? Try again. It takes a lot of practice. See, look, a good one. I got skips. Ooh. This looks like a good place to sit down here. Hey, that looks like a snail. Yeah, let's have a seat right here. There you go. Hey, before we look at those cool rocks that you brought, why don't we look at some of the ones that uh, I got? Okay, Daniel, let's have a look here. What type of rock is this one? Well, the closer inspection, it could be igneous rock. One of the characteristics of igneous rock, it's, it's formed deep down in the earth from heat. Huh? Okay, it's usually made from magma or lava. Ooh. And when it forms in great heat like that, it forms crystals through it. So that one came from a volcano? Uh, deep down in the earth. Do we have any sedimentary rock here? Yes, we do, Daniel. Right here is an example of sedimentary rock. Notice the difference? Cool. Sedimentary rock is sand and silt that settles to the ocean floors or the river beds, and it forms a rock called sedimentary. Do we have any metamorphic rock? Yeah, one right here. Metamorphic rock is formed from heat and pressure. It's a mixture of sedimentary rock and igneous rock. When it comes together under extreme heat and pressure, it metamorphosizes into metamorphic rock. Do you have any rocks with fossils in it? I certainly do, Daniel. Now here is some sedimentary rock with fossils all through it. See the different fossils? Ooh. See how the curls around and around like a snake lay in there? Huh. Okay, it's amlotite. A big piece of crystal, nice shiny clear crystal. Well, the purple crystals we have here is called amethyst. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? And that's a selena. You can see right through that one. Oh, we have a geode. Ooh, okay. geode. It's fool's gold. 
Who's gold? It's not real gold, it's pyrite. Of all the rocks that we have here, what was your favorite? My favorite is amethyst. I have my own piece of amethyst on my desk in my office that I found out here in the Bay of Fundy in the Isle of Holt. Hmm, yeah, I think I like my favorite one is the fool's gold. Fool's gold, yeah, it's shiny, eh? And, it's nice. and the two, and the crystals. Oh, yeah, several favorites. And this, and the, okay, these are my favorites. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Thank you so much, Keith, for teaching me about really cool rocks. I had so much fun. Thank you for having me, Daniel.